Hey, Stephen Yanni here for Asseter Auctioneers. Great Texas Mopar Horde auction event with item number 279. This is a 1959 Plymouth two-door station wagon. It's called a Suburban, and no, Chevrolet wasn't the only manufacturer to use that name, and Plymouth used it on their wagons for many years. Uh, the grill on this one is very, very nice. Look at this. The anodized is sweet. Uh, the gold on the center medallion is still present and accounted for. The license plate is a Texas DGL873, 1968. And I love this hemisphere. Uh, no Hemi engine, but Hemi people love these plates. Again, get a 68 Roadrunner, you want that plate. But the Hemisphere was a state fair here in Texas. Okay, the headlight shrouds are beautiful. I don't see any signs of rust quite often. These are all bubbly here, but not here. Really nice. Okay, drum roll please. Which engine do we have? Okay, this is the 318 polyspherical head, two barrel, 230 horsepower. Nothing wrong with that. We see factory drum brakes, no disc brakes, of course, till the 60s. Uh, has power steering, that's pretty cool. Here's the pump, uh, there's the steering box, and uh, it's been a hotel to some mice <laughs> for a while. Blow that stuff out of there, no big deal. I don't see any structural rust. The firewall does not have holes. The original paint is still present on it. And look at this, this is kind of wild. This is the VIN tag right here. Uh, 100353. So this was the 353rd Plymouth off the line. I think St. Louis, Missouri. I think, I think, I think on the tag, but that's kind of cool. 358. Everything starts somewhere, but usually any number under 70 indicates a pilot production car. So this is not that, but it's still pretty cool. Okay, moving on. The front fender here. Let's get the magnet out to see what we find down low. Okay, it's steel, but I do see here a little bit of putty. Somebody's been in here a long, long time ago to fix up some rust. But again, the magnet sticks to it, really all the way down to the putty, where of course it does not. But not a bad fender, but some putty going on right in this department here. The rocker panel, yeah, it's got some holes right there. Not too horrible. And again, the magnet uh, does stick, so uh, it hasn't been doctored too badly in this area here. The door is quite nice. Uh, ordinarily, the edges are all bubbly. This is, this is nice. Let's pop that door and look inside, see what we find. Okay, well, we'll stick the camera inside instead. Uh, what we have here is, uh, here's the power steering steering wheel, push button automatic transmission. And this is the two speed, not the three speed torque flight, but the less expensive power flight with two forward speeds, that's okay. AM radio still in place. A lot of folks pay big money for factory radios and uh, there it is. It's not been hogged out and replaced with anything. Here's the rib raker rear view mirror. Bench seat still in place up front and in the cargo bed in the back there. Looking pretty good. Uh, can't lift that for you, but I would assume the floors on this are better than average. Again, it's a Texas vehicle. Uh, down low here, yes, some, some bubblicious going on. That's kind of getting ready to go. But the magnet does stick, so it hasn't been doctored. Again, I'd rather see honest rust like this. You cut that out, then an inch and a half of Bondo. This is pretty honest. You know, a little punky, but not could be worse. The wheel lip is very nice. Uh, this is not bubbling. That's solid right there. That's good stuff. Down here, very nice lower extensions. Some bubbling there, yeah, five years from now that'll come through, but otherwise it's not too bad. Uh, the quarter panel up here, Suburban Custom, Finn, 1959. Tail lamps seem to be missing. They might be inside, not sure but uh, the rear bumper is looking good. And again, here's that Texas Hemisphere plate. Uh, was once a, tra a trailer towing car. Somebody went camping with this puppy. And let's see if we can open the tailgate. Oh, yeah, okay, that's good. A little carthritis, I've got it too. But uh, yeah, I mean, the tailgate's not bad. These are often all punky through here, but the magnet wants to stick pretty much everywhere. That's a fine thing. Uh, underneath this treasure chest, which is full of, uh, huh, uh, fuel, pumps, distributor cap, generator, probably spare parts. Somebody had to keep the car on the road in case it broke down. A little survival kit uh, under here. Uh, that's pretty heavy. I can't lift that. But anyway, tailgate. Oh, it's good. A little bit of WD-40 would be a nice thing for later. Okay. Fenders are looking good. And quarter panels here. Yeah, the usual. Yeah, Chrysler's curse. Uh, the magnet wants to stick, so it could be worse. That's not so bad. And again, quarter panel extensions are available for these. Not a big deal to fix. The wheel lip is beautiful, not dented. That's beautiful. What a graceful line that is, too, right from the factory. Down low here, not bad. Does the magnet want to stick? Yes, it does. That's great. And this door won't open, but we can look inside. 
And again, we see the uh, push button heater controls, the AM radio, and uh, not too bad. It's all there. That's the beauty. If that stuff's missing, have fun finding it. So this is a pretty solid uh, vehicle, good bones. Windshield is, is gone. Basically, it's uh, blown out halfway through, but that's okay. They are available. You can find windshields for these. Front fenders, really, really nice all the way down. Rust-free at the bottom. Very good stuff. And again, this stuff here, I call that a Texas suntan. That's nothing. You can dual action sand this, prime it and paint it, you're good to go. So that's the story of item number 279, a 1959 Plymouth Suburban two-door wagon. These are rare.